Bad gut function can cause bad brain function, memory loss, hormonal imbalance, thyroid condition, fatigue, feeling tired all the time, feeling fatigued after a meal. And I will explain to you why you feel the way you feel. You need to understand good health starts from your gut. Bad health is as a result of bad gut function. You need to get educated and not medicated for the rest of your life to change your life. If you find that you have a lot of issues with your gut, you better listen to this video. If you want to find the real reason why you're having acid reflux, heartburn, feeling bloated, constipated, or other gut issues, you better listen to what I'm about to say. If you're taking antacids every day, if you feel constipated all the time, you need to pause this video, grab a pen and a piece of paper. Hi, my name is Jeanette, and um, I've been having ongoing problems for a very long time. A lot of it was indigestion, um, heartburn, um, acid reflux, constipation, problems going to the bathroom. I was practically living off of Pepsid AC and, and acid pills. I was popping them at least three or four times a day like candy, as well as taking stool softeners. And um, ever since I've been taking the, the vitamins that Dr. Moss has given me, I can tell you right now that I have not taken any antacid pills, any heartburn medication, any stool softeners. I've been going to the bathroom regularly, no abdominal pains, no bloating, um, and it just feels great not to be able to have to take these things over and over again and all the money that I spent in all these pharmacies, you know, popping these things like candy, it was just horrible, and, and I have to say that I, my sleep has gotten much better, and headaches have practically gone away. I used to suffer from migraines and was on prescription medication, and I can honestly say that I'm not on prescription any medication anymore for the migraines and I actually even stopped taking Excedrin which was something else I was always taking all the time for my headaches and I, I can say it's been about three weeks now since I've taken Excedrin and it, I just feel really great and I just want to thank Medwell Center for helping me. To orient you with how your gut functions, I want you to understand in your upper GI system you have your stomach, our pancreas, our liver, and gallbladder. These organs are pH dependent. The pH level is how acidic or how alkaline something is. It is measured of acid or alkaline. The pH level of your stomach is supposed to be from 1 to 3. The lower the pH, the more acidic it is. The stomach is supposed to be acidic. If you stuck your finger into your stomach, the acidity of your stomach should melt your finger to the bone. That is how acidic it should be. There are two main reasons. Our stomach lining is dependent to produce hydrochloric acid. Reason number one is for digestive purposes. The stomach needs acid to break down the food, to break down the proteins. If there is not enough acid, you will not digest your primary source of energy, which is protein. This is why even when you try to eat healthy, you still feel horrible. Sounds familiar? Reason number two. The job of hydrochloric acid is also to disinfect the food. There are parasite, fungus, yeast, mold, bacteria, on and on and on, that gets into our food supply. And if there is not hydrochloric acid, you cannot disinfect the food. And the parasite and fungus and yeast and all the unwanted bacteria stays on the food and goes into our body. It gets even worse. In most cases, we find people are producing too little hydrochloric acid. Instead of pH of 1, 2, or 3, the stomach could have pH of 4, 5, or 6. And as a result, you cannot properly break down the protein or food that you eat at this level. And certainly you cannot disinfect the food that you're eating.
Now, because your next door neighbor said to get alkaline water, because you need to alkalize your body, you invest on in an alkaline water system, which makes things even worse. Because it is true that you need to alkalize your body, but your stomach needs to be acidic. And when you have alkaline water, the first place it goes, it goes to your stomach. So it, you have low producing uh, hydrochloric acid stomach, and you alkalize it even more, so you make things even worse. So getting back to what I was talking about is don't get alkaline water system. The food that sits in your stomach, it literally starts rotting because there was not enough acid to digest it. So the food stays there. The body doesn't know what to do with it. The food stays there and starts rotting. This rotting food starts to create acid. One of the acids that this rotting food is going to make is lactic acid. The production of this fermentation of lactic acid, it comes in your esophagus and as a result, you get heartburn. As a result, you take antiacids to break down this acid. So when you take antacid, it reduces this lactic acid and hydrochloric acid that was weak to begin with. That is why once you start antacids, you will need them for the rest of your life. And that's not good. And the dose gets stronger and stronger and stronger as time goes on. It gets worse. As you're on antacids for a while, you will notice that you don't have energy. Sounds familiar? You're fatigued all the time. You're dependent to coffee. You lose muscle mass and you develop weakness and osteoporosis. This is because what you eat, even healthy food that you eat, it does not even get digested. Let me explain something to you. The stomach has cells to produce acid. It also has cells to create mucus which protects the stomach lining from high amount of acid that is constantly being generated. So we have acid producing cells and mucus producing cells and other enzymes to protect the stomach and make sure the stomach does its job. But if these cells are destroyed with antiacids, with fried food, with bad diet, with low stomach acid and the bad diet that you're having, the stomach becomes lazy and the food stays there and produces the lactic acid that comes up in your esophagus and you feel the burning sensation. Then usually your next door neighbor or your friend or your doctor will tell you to take antacids. Well, they're partially correct. You need to take antacids because you cannot live like this. But you have to understand. These antacids are proton pump inhibitors or acid blockers. And you feel better because you're calming down some of the acid process in your stomach. But what this is also doing is stopping and shutting down the production of acid that needs to be there in your stomach. So now you cannot digest the food, you cannot disinfect the food. And that creates a problem with chronic gut dysfunction, with chronic constipation, chronic bloatingness, being gassy all the time, having heartburn. You need digestive enzymes in your stomach to start digest and break down the food that goes from your stomach into your intestine. I have had numerous cases of patients, they come in and they say, I'm a mess, I have constipation, I have chronic bloatingness, I have heartburn, I cannot live like this, I'm living on Nexium and other proton pump inhibitors. I'm taking, anti, uh, uh, I'm taking probiotics, I changed three different probiotics and I'm still a mess. Well, this patient, I gave him digestive enzymes, a good source digestive enzymes to break down the food in the stomach and from the stomach that goes into your intestine to have the probiotics work on it. Many people don't know this. Probiotics does not work in your stomach. It's mainly for your small intestine and large intestine. 
if you have food in your stomach that doesn't get digested and the food gets forced into your small intestine, probiotics could have your symptoms even become more worse. Become more, you become more gassy. You have more constipation. So you need a doctor to understand this whole concept of functional medicine. A vast majority of people create too little hydrochloric acid. Why? Because the production of acid takes a lot of energy. It needs, a, it's energy dependent. When you have constant pain, when you have constant body dysfunction, it reduces your energy and causes fatigue. Sounds familiar? So basically you're going through this vicious cycle of having no energy, having low HCL, you have less energy the next day, you have less HCL, and you're becoming chronically worse. And you have to be medicated for the rest of your life because nobody is fixing your body. They want to fix your symptom. They want to fix your stomach. They want to fix your large intestine. They want to fix your thyroid. The body does not work like this. The body does not work with systems of the body or organs. You need to fix the body. Many of these symptoms may go away. Can we guarantee it? Absolutely not. Are we successful? Yes, our panel of medical physicians, our panel of other doctors are very successful with helping patients to get better. We have found with our in-house diagnostic testings many musculoskeletal pain, many neurological conditions, many thyroid or diabetes problems, they have a direct gut-related cause. Many restless legs uh, patients suffer, they have yeast and parasite infections that they don't even know about. We test these people, we find them and we help them. Most people in our country, they're stressed. There are actually lab testings and brain evaluation, brain wave evaluations called QEEG testing that shows the average person is chronically stressed. Now when you're stressed, the brain literally shuts down digestion. When it shuts down the digestion, the production of hydrochloric acid diminishes. Then the production of the hydrochloric acid diminishes, then you cannot digest the food, then you cannot disinfect your food. Healthy or unhealthy food. Many patients, they come to our office, they have been to many doctors, they have been taking multiple pills, they are getting worse by the day, by the week, by the month, they're taking more medications, they start to exercise, they cannot lose the weight, they have been taking these special shakes to lose the weight, they try to eat healthy and they are still a mess. This is solely because the people who advise these people, patients, they want to fix their symptom. They want to fix their organ of the body. The body does not work that way. You have to fix the whole entire body all at the same time. You cannot have good thyroid with bad gut. You cannot have great functioning gut function with bad thyroid. The body works together. So even if you eat healthy and you feel miserable, there is reason behind it. And some of these poor people, because they go to multiple doctors, they don't get anywhere because the thyroid doctor looks at their thyroid, the gut doctor looks at their gut. This doctor doesn't care about this doctor, this doctor doesn't care about this doctor. The patient's lab tests show it's normal because the lab tests are, they have a very broad range. We have talked about this before. Us as functional doctors, we look at more narrower ranges. They see the lab test is normal, they feel miserable, then they go to a shrink. They go to a psychiatrist and get colonozapam, hardcore medication, to be able to sleep, Xanax. This is very common with chronic pain sufferers, chronic functional problems, causes psychiatric issues, they go to doctors and they take hardcore medication for something that's not even psychiatric. Fix your gut. So 
when getting back to what we were talking about when the stomach has low acid it is not good and it will allow different types of infections fungal infections parasitic infection bacterial infection and all kinds of other problems so gut health is extremely important gut health is incredibly important one of the first things that you need to do through us or through your own doctor or through your somebody that you know fix your gut so a person has to do diagnostic testing to find what is the underlying cause of your gut dysfunction so they have to order the right tests they have to be able to read the test properly that person should not see normal versus abnormal they have to have a knowledge about how the test is being done they have to based on the result order the proper supplements for you and prescribe it and recommend it for you to take the proper dosage and be able to monitor you if you find somebody like this go to them if you don't find somebody like this come to us i hope this was helpful and if you have any questions don't hesitate to call us at 201-848-8000 or visit us at getfixedtoday.com we do accept most insurance plans and god bless